so we've introduced talking about polynomial rings over uh, rings in general, um, but from now on we're going to focus on polynomial rings f adjoint x over fields. So in particular we'll be looking at uh, q adjoint x, r adjoint x, z mod p adjoint x, and um, something called fq adjoint x. So we'll say um, what fq is uh, for Wednesday. So that's coming up that we'll talk about what that finite field is. Um, so these are uh, the fields that you can focus on for where we're going to be taking the coefficients of our polynomials. Um, so we constructed z mod m by defining congruence mod m. So now inside of our polynomial rings uh, we're going to figure out how to mod out by a po polynomial in a similar way. So we're going to do arithmetic mod a polynomial. Um, so uh, the first thing that we need to talk about for this is divisibility. So similar to how we define um, an integer dividing another integer, we define a polynomial in f adjoint x dividing another polynomial in f adjoint x. So if we have polynomials f of x and g of x living in um, our polynomial ring f adjoint x, so f is uh, a field here, probably one of those fields that we just mentioned. Um, we say that f of x divides g of x, and then write that uh, with similar notation as for the integers with that vertical bar there. Um, if there's a polynomial h of x such that f of x times h of x equals g of x. Um, so for some examples here, x minus 1 divides x squared minus 1, uh, since we have that x squared minus 1 equals x minus 1 times x plus 1. So this is in q adjoint x. So it's going to be really important for these that we keep paying attention to what our base field is here. So we know what where our coefficients are coming from and what sort of arithmetic um, that we're doing on the coefficients. Uh, x squared plus x plus 1 divides x cubed minus 1 since x cubed minus 1 uh, equals x squared plus x plus 1 times x minus 1 and that one would also be in q adjoin x um, and then for an example of something in a ring over um, one of our z mod p fields um, x squared plus 2x plus 2 divides x to the fourth plus 2x cubed plus x squared plus x minus 2. Uh, so this is in z mod 3 adjoint x since x squared plus 2x plus 2 times x squared minus 1 equals x to the fourth plus 2x plus 2x cubed plus x squared plus x uh, minus 2. Um, so uh, really important here, a lot of you were using um, a sort of alternate uh, definition for divisibility of integers um, where we say that um, like a divides b if b over a is an integer. That really, really doesn't work for polynomials. Um, so don't try to say that f of x divides g of x if g of x divided by f of x is a polynomial. Um, there are several technical reasons that I won't get into why this doesn't work for polynomials. Um, so make sure you're sticking with the definition that we give at the top there. Alright, so it can be a little bit tricky to tell if uh, a polynomial f of x divides g of x. Um, so with integers it's pretty easy since integer division is really familiar, you can sort of do that as second nature, uh, but for polynomials it's a little bit trickier. Um, so uh, one of the ways that we can do this is by trying to factor, so for example x squared minus 2 equals x minus 3 times x plus 3 in z mod 7 adjoint x, so if you figure out that Okay, 3 squared is 2, so then if I do x minus 3 times x plus 3, that'll give me x squared minus 2 in z mod 7. 
um, you can do this that way. Uh, so this sort of depends on you know you being able to think through modular arithmetic really well, um, and sort of you know check out different possibilities and see how you might be able to factor something. So this isn't you know this is sort of an ad hoc method that might work well for some of you, but uh, can be a little bit trickier, uh, especially for um, less common things. Um, probably the more a uh, consistent way that you can tell if f of x divides g of x is to actually just do polynomial long division. So let's remember how that works. So if we've got x to the fourth plus 2x cubed plus x squared plus x minus 2, um, and we want to divide that by uh, x squared minus 1. Um, and let's say we're trying to do this in z mod 3, join x. So really, really important to remember the base fields here. All right, so to cancel out that first term, um, we can uh, multiply x squared by x squared. So then we're going to do um, x to the fourth minus uh, 1 times x squared. So uh, minus x squared there. And then we'll subtract this off of uh, what we have there. Um, so then we've got 0 there, uh, 2x cubed, x squared minus x squared is 0, and then plus x uh, minus 2. Um, so next up we want to cancel out that 2 x cubed, so let's multiply by 2x. So if we've got 2x cubed and then 2x times minus 1 would be minus 2x. Um, and then subtract this, so you've got 0. And then we've got x minus minus 2x. So that's going to be, um, wait a minute, I did something wrong here. Oh, sorry, subtracting 2x cubed minus 2x cubed Um, so we've got x squared minus minus x squared. That one should have been 2x squared there. There we go. All right, so um, bringing that down, we've now got 2x squared down here, and then x minus minus 2x, so that's going to be x plus 2x. So we've got 3x there, which is congruent to 0 in z mod 3, keeping our base field in mind. So we've got 2x squared minus 2. So finally, we just um, add 2 to that. All right, so now 2x squared minus 2, and subtracting that, uh, we end up with 0. So since we've got 0 for our remainder there, we can see that um, x squared minus 1 does divide that big polynomial. So um, if you... Uh, need some practice or review of polynomial long division, um, you can certainly find various videos and tutorials on that online. Um, so I'd recommend doing that and practicing a little bit um, to make sure that you can uh, do this if you need to and not make mistakes like I did. All right, so um, similar to prime numbers, uh, we say that a polynomial f of x is irreducible if it cannot be factored into polynomials of strictly smaller degree. Um, so the base field is very important here. So for example, let's consider x squared minus 2. So if we think of that as a polynomial in q adjoint x, then this is irreducible since uh, there's nothing squared that gives us 2. Um, in the rational numbers, we won't be able to factor this, uh, but in um, our adjoint x, we've got x squared 
minus 2 equals x minus root 2x plus root 2. Um, so there it factors, so it is not irreducible. Or I guess we could say it's reducible. Uh, in z mod 3, um, here it's going to be irreducible again. Once again, we don't have anything that squares to give us 2. Um, we could also check that all of our linear factors don't divide it, so we can look at x, x plus 1, x plus 3, 2x, 2x plus 1, 2x plus 2. Oh, that should have been x plus 2. Um, so we can check that all of these, or sorry, none of these divide x squared minus 2, which will mean uh, that we can't factor um, x squared minus 2. Um, in z mod 7 adjoin x, it's going to be reducible again, since we've got uh, x squared minus 2 equals x minus 3 times x plus 3. Since 3 squared equals 2, this works out. Um, so here it's once again not irreducible. So it's really important that you're paying attention to the base field that you're uh, working with because that can affect which polynomials are irreducible and which ones are reducible. So now um, we're going to finally be able to define what it means for two polynomials to be congruent modulo another polynomial. So we define this basically the exact same way that we did for integers, uh, that they're congruent if uh, m, m of x divides their difference. Um, so if m of x divides f of x minus g of x, and we're going to use similar notation here. Um, so we can write f of x congruent to g of x mod m of x, or um, we might just write f of x equals g of x in f adjoin x mod m of x. So this uh, f of x, or f adjoin x mod m of x, this is similar notation to our like z mod m. That's sort of taking that place there. Um, so for some examples here, if we look uh, in q adjoin x, uh, we have x cubed plus x squared plus 1 is congruent to x cubed mod x squared plus 1, since x squared plus 1 will divide the difference of those two polynomials. Um, we could all, and we can also say that x cubed plus x squared plus 1 equals x cubed plus 1 in q adjoin x mod x squared. So using the second notation there. Um, over a finite field, for example, we've got x cubed plus x squared plus 1 is congruent to x cubed plus 2 modulo x squared plus 2 in z mod 3 adjoin x. Um, so you can check that x squared plus 2 divides the difference of those two polynomials. Um, and uh, you could also write uh, in z mod 3 adjoin x mod 2x cubed plus 1. We have uh, x cubed plus x squared plus 1 equals x squared plus 2. Um, so note that f adjoin x mod this polynomial m of x, that's our analog for z mod m. Um, so we're modding out my polynomials instead of integers now. Um, so we can also uh, think of this as doing polynomial long division, similar to how we could think of modding out by things as doing integer long division, and then checking if the remainders are equal. Um, so for example, if we're looking uh, in, uh, let's say, z mod 3, adjoin x, and we want to look mod x squared plus 2 uh, to check um, if x squared, or sorry, x cubed plus x squared plus 1 
if that's congruent to x cubed plus 2, um, we can divide both of those by x squared plus 2 and see what happens. So dividing the first one by uh, x cubed plus 2. So we get x there, and we're doing x cubed plus 2x. So subtracting there, then we've got uh, x squared uh, minus 2x, which would be plus x in z mod 3. Uh, so then um, we've got plus 1 there, and x squared uh, plus 2. So subtracting, we've got uh, x, and then 1 minus 2 is minus 1 is congruent to 2, so we've got x plus 2 there. Um, and then dividing, on the other hand, x cubed plus 2. So let's space this out a little bit. So we've got a 0 and a 0 for our x squared and x terms plus 2, and then, so this divides, we've got x, and then we've got x squared plus 2x, so subtracting there, we've got, uh, I that's x cubed, um, so we've got 0, and then minus 2x is going to be x plus 2, so our remainder here is uh, x plus 2, and over here that was x plus 2, so we see those remainders are equal, so we can conclude um, that uh, x cubed plus x squared plus 1 equals x cubed plus 2 in z mod 3 join x mod x squared plus 2. So that's another way that you can check if two things are congruent, and it can be handy to think about this as remainders in that way. Uh, for arithmetic mod m, uh, mod m of x, uh, we define addition and multiplication in the obvious way where we sort of can either reduce and then uh, add or multiply, or we can add or multiply and then reduce, um, similar to how we had modular arithmetic for integers. So we've got x cubed plus 2x squared plus 1 plus x squared plus 1. Um, and let's look at this in uh, z mod 3 adjoin x mod x cubed plus 1. So um, if we just add these together, with the idea that we're then going to reduce, adding these two together, we get x cubed, and then 2x squared plus x squared, we get 3x squared, so that's 0. So we've got x cubed plus 2. So then if we reduce, that's equal to 1 there. Um, so adding those two polynomials together, we get 1. All right, so then in uh, in Let's work in the same polynomial ring, mod um, x cubed plus 1, and now look at multiplying these polynomials. Uh, then we've got those multiplied together. This time, let's reduce and then multiply. Um, so we can reduce x cubed plus 2x squared plus 1. If we divide that by x cubed plus 1, uh, we just get 2x squared as our remainder. And then, since this has smaller degree, that will already be the remainder. So we can multiply these together and get 2x to the 4th plus 2x squared. And then um, reducing uh, this, um, this is actually going to be equal to 2x squared plus 2x in this ring. Um, since if we look at uh, x to the fourth, this is going to be, um, 
Oh wait, this is just 1x squared. Um, so x to the fourth is x times x cubed plus 1. So then we've got that x there. So then our remainder would be plus 2x. So um, when we're looking at 2x to the fourth, that would be 2x times x cubed plus 1 plus 4x or plus x there. So our remainder here um, would be x. I put that in the wrong place. So we still had 2x squared there, and this should be plus x. Sorry about that. Um, hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Um, and then uh, similar to how in modular arithmetic we'd think of z mod m as being integers 0 up through m minus 1, if m of x has degree d, then every polynomial is congruent mod m of x um, to a polynomial of degree less than d. So it's congruent to a smaller degree polynomial. So for an example here, we might think of z mod 3 join x mod x squared plus 1 um, as being polynomials of degree uh, less than 2. So in z mod 3 join x are polynomials of degree, um, degree uh, less than 2. We've got 0, 1, 2 are constant polynomials. And then x, x plus 1 x plus 2, 2x, 2x plus 1, and finally 2x plus 2. So we can see that there are um, nine elements in here. So we'll talk more about uh, the structure of this thing that we get by modding out by polynomials next time, and that will be our, how we get those finite fields FQ that we've mentioned a couple of times now, but we haven't actually said what that means. Um, so do the pre-lecture questions, and that's it for this one.